This year we celebrate women in league round and for the first time the women are playing in the same round as the men and I'm joined by one of the women who paved the way in the sport, not only as a player but as a coach and also as a media personality, Ruan Sims. You've uh, had an amazing game in rugby league, where did it all begin for you? Oh, rugby league was just a way of life down in Gerringong, down the south coast and obviously being one of five, you you know, a third of the way to a footy team. So <laughs> we always used to play a lot of footy in the backyard, just around town. But I did play some uh, some junior footy as well down there and played with my brother Ashton in the same team for a little while. And unfortunately, just as I got older, there was no avenue to continue playing. So had to give it up, but found my way back, thankfully. And uh, yeah, I've been loving it ever since. You're also rewarded for your amazing talent in the game as being one of the first women to ever receive a contract in the NRL. What did that mean for you? It was really exciting because at the time it was not even on the radar anywhere and the Sharks took a massive gamble in 2015-2016 uh, and putting together that team, contracting players to the club, uh, that was a very bold step and I remember talking to you know, uh, Jason Stanton about it at the time and speaking to the club and you know they had a genuine vision and they wanted to make sure that Women's Rugby League found a place on the map and you know it was just incredible to, to be asked to be part of it. It was incredible to sign a contract uh, to an NRL club and you know the fact that the NRLW competition was actually not slated to start until about 2020 or 2021 around like around that period of time that it was brought forward to 2018 is absolutely incredible because the, the groundswell of support was massive and you know, it was brought forward two years and I, I was able to play a couple of years as well because that was done so yeah it was uh, it's a pretty surreal moment when I think about it uh, but one that uh, I'm incredibly proud to have played a part in. From being an amazing player in the game to now coaching, what does it mean for you to give back to that rugby community? Uh, it feels amazing to make a difference. But I'm so glad that I'm able to stay connected to the game in a number of different ways. Obviously doing some commentating uh, with TV and radio and also doing some coaching. Uh, it just, it really do feel genuinely connected to it and uh, I'm really excited by the prospects that are coming through the ranks at, at the moment and just when you see these players being involved in you know, the kinds of programs that professional clubs run, you see their progression and it just makes you so proud to have been able to play a part in it and to have some influence over their playing style or career or uh, yeah and you see some of these girls go on to become really big names in the game and that makes me even more proud because it just it shows how far the game has come. Uh, obviously we've got plenty more to do but it is taking great leaps and bounds in the right direction. Well you were once that starry-eyed young footballer <laughs> looking at, at some of you know the amazing women that paved the way. Who made the most mark on you as a player? Yeah, coming through the ranks, uh, obviously Karen Murphy is probably one that gets mentioned every single time and there's a reason for that because she is the GOAT. She's yeah. absolutely amazing. She's doing great things up at the Gold Coast Titans as well. Not only being the head coach, but I think she's also the GM of, of Women's Rugby League up there and she had an incredible role in the integrity unit prior to that. So she's had a massive impact on the game both on and off the field and you know, she was my first Jillaroos captain as well and I was so honoured to be a part of the team in 2013 when we won the first ever World Cup for the Jillaroos as she was captain and yeah, that was that was a pretty incredible moment so she's definitely one. Uh, Katie Page is one that I think has had significant impact on the women's space. She is unwavering in her support, she is unwavering in her idea of the direction of the game and she is not backwards in going forwards. She is very straight up and down and I, I love that about her because you know exactly where you stand with Katie and she's always got your corner, she's always got your back, which is fantastic. You know, another one, uh, Katrina Fanning, she's a character and she is just an absolute legend. What she does on and off the field, what, she was obviously a middle forward, so I love that about it too. <laughs> but she does incredible work off the field as well and using rugby league as, as a platform to be able to drive a lot of social change and discussion, I think is really fantastic. So we've had some incredible people come before us and the opportunities that we have had in the very recent past and now come from all of the hard work that these women put in when there was nothing in it 
for them. There was nothing, it was the honour of playing and that was it, you know, and I think a lot of these opportunities are off of the work that they did and the goodwill that they fostered within the game and uh, we're very fortunate to be able to continue to carry that baton and, and make sure that we pass it on to the next crop of people coming through in a better place. When people say like you run and hit like a girl, it's a compliment. I actually came to one of your sessions. Where and I got it, and you, yes, and you <laughs> folded me into a deck chair, so. I went to put you down lightly, but you just lost your legs. I don't know, I was going, oh, 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 and then it's all on footage, like as though I was, like just hammered you. Like, <laughs> Softly. You did not put me down softly. <laughs> I maintain you lost your yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, now you're in a coaching realm, you see some of the amazing talent coming through. Who should we be looking out for? Yeah, there is an incredible crop of young players coming through. Obviously, we know all of the household names that we have as well in you know, our Kezi apps, our Jess Surgises, Isabel Kellys, all those, and my Matorfas, those incredible players. But I've actually been most excited about this really young, new crop coming through. And I've spoken about this young woman at length over the last couple of weeks, and she blew my mind again on the weekend, Lasana Lutu. She is a phenomenal young talent. She's absolutely incredible. And I don't think I've ever seen a young player come on and completely change the complexion of the game the way she did for the Tigers on the weekend. So she's one to keep an eye out on, very young as well. Obviously, Jessie Southwell is another one that I think is going to have a massive impact on this game in the future. How the number seven role is played, the physicality that a seven plays with will change with the way her, her style of, of play. Uh, her kicking game that she's continually working on improves every single time she takes the pitch. So keep an eye on her and I think she'll be a staple in the New South Wales team going forward as well, especially considering she's only 19, which is scary. <laughs> Absolutely scary. Jada Taylor, obviously she's with the Sharks, she's a very exciting young talent. Uh, scored that incredible 110 metre try last year that's plastered all over YouTube. <laughs> And she had a great game on the weekend again for the Sharks. So, yeah, they're just a few of the, the young ones coming through, but I could sit here and talk to you all day about this next crop because it is so exciting. And like I said before, seeing them in professional programs and watching their acceleration in learning and football knowledge and just their execution, the more opportunity they get to do that and the longer they get to spend in these programs, the greater the quality of the product it's going to be at the end of the day and I think that's what's most exciting because you see all of the 10 clubs this year that have a license you see all of them putting in significant resources into improving the women's game and making sure that the best possible product is going out on the field so that's yeah that's probably what I'm most excited about. And I think the game is just going to keep getting better Absolutely. and better. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today we really appreciate it. Thanks guys.